Something that happens often when you're working with data sets is you want to bring information from one data set into another data set. So here, you don't have to worry so much about how I made this DS data set, but you can look at it if you want. It should make sense. The important thing is that one of its column names matches one of the column names from my dog's data set. And then I also have a new column where we think of that as some important information that I want to transfer over into my dog's data set. So how can I do that? Well, I want you to memorize that in the 1980 row, it's negative 5, and in the 1983 row, it's negative 3 in this random column. And let me hide that, hide that data set. And the function I'm going to use is called join across. And so I give name of the first data set, name of the second data set, and then the name of the column that I want to join using. So this is the year of birth column. And so notice that we gained that negative 5 and that negative 3 in the random column in my original dog's data set. So uh, that's basically perfect. Notice that the fourth row, notice that it disappeared. So uh, what if I, like, why did it disappear? Well, in my original DS data set, hey, if I look at it, it only goes down to the year 2000. Hey, when I made it, I said X from 1970 up to 2000. And so uh, by default in Mathematica, if there is no match, then the, the row just disappears from the original data set. But there are some different options in this join across function. And these are the four that I want you to pay attention to. So uh, notice that these go in the fourth entry in the, or the fourth input in join across. And so uh, the default one is to only keep those, uh, those rows, I guess, for which the values match. But there's also this option to join based on left. So that's allow there to be something from the first data set for which it does not match in the second data set. And that's exactly what we want here. Okay, so now we just have this missing value here. If I were to name this, how about joined? And I were to look at joined, give me the fourth row and give me the random column value. Hey, this is just missing. And what if I had done right? Hey, so uh, then it's thinking of the right-hand data set, this DS data set, as the more important one. And it's carrying over uh, these things from the dog data set into it. Hey, and notice that it only goes down to 2000 because it's only keeping things from the DS data set. And th the last option was outer. How does that one look? Well, it's going to look very similar to this, but the difference is that at the bottom, there's also this row coming from our original dog's data set.